Hi everyone, another quick update uh, for the uh, tensile coil uh, circuit and that is that I've got some good news. I found a replacement here for this uh, var variable air capacitor and uh, what I've come up with is basically utilizing uh, aluminum uh, foil tape, real aluminum foil tape, not just duct tape. And uh, this kind of stock here, which is a foam board, uh, kind of like a white uh, cardboard, Cornwall coated cardboard uh, on each side and foam in between. It's about a quarter inch thick. You can get this at uh, Hobby Lobby or a art uh, supply uh, store. And it's a nice rigid board. So what I've done is I've uh, cut it exactly the width of the tape itself and um, basically uh, glued on the uh, tape and you glue, glue on both sides and basically you create a capacitor with that and here's the capacitor that I've created and actually tuned so you adjust it to the length you want so you can cut it slowly uh, to tune your circuit and uh, basically I've inserted here a copper strip so I just cut some aluminum um, kind of a sheeting I guess and uh, made a little hole there and there's a screw and there's another one there so the one is glued uh, right there and you can see there's a tape I just hold it over with the tape so you've got a long contact surface so you're good you're, you're good you've got a good contact and an area for your uh, wires to uh, get uh, connected to so this now is in tune uh, for the uh, circuit and there is the little uh, antenna uh, top there and for some reason uh, the circuit works better as well with this other uh, antenna on the lower side on the opposite side of the uh, this tune cap and uh, I'm even getting better results with this here than I am with these uh, variable air capacitors so I'll just uh, go ahead and uh, start up the circuit there get this stuff out of the way and um, I even disconnected the fan because the heatsink barely even gets warm. And uh, there you go, that is what the uh, circuit is utilizing right now. So 17 volts at 1 amp. So that's the circuit functioning without the load. So basically 17 watts is just utilized to uh, you know, make the circuit idle. And now I'll uh, connect my uh, bulb. So there's the bulb uh, lit up. And if we look at our uh, math, no, sorry about that. So there we go, same thing, no difference. Uh, basically, we can add that load. So the whole idea behind all this that I'm doing is now what I'm gonna do once I find the ideal coil configuration, I'm not sure if this really large uh, diameter is better than the little smaller diameter. Just gotta figure out that more tests. Once I know the uh, exact geometry that I want, um, then I just make exact, exact carbon copies of it. And then we just put them all around the uh, coil and tune them in a place where you're not taking and you're not, you know, uh, adding to the circuit. You're just, you know, trying to add more and more as you go. And hopefully we can reach our 17 watts of, you know, of power output on here. So that's the whole uh, idea behind all this. And uh, thanks for your interest. Bye now.